cluster and I was on the one side of the street walking west and these being these beings was headed to the east and it was me and my sister and two other girls walking in this direction and the first set of beings descended were in a group of four like a box with no lines just at the four corners and as they came these colors were changing and emerging from the circles and as these four passed us they were headed in the east direction where a mass evil demonic army approaching i was watching and walking at the same time and as the as they approached i moved my sister to the other side and i got on the side they would pass and as they passed this noise came from them like a frequency horse like noise and i remember saying god bless you cloud nine family and welcome back i truly hope that all is going well and that you are having a very blessed week in the lord i thank you so much for clicking on this video today so that we could experience another powerful dreamer vision that has been emailed into the channel and in this video today we are going to be looking at a submission from our dear sister in christ faith she calls this dream firmament open destruction dream so brothers and sisters let's now take a look and see what our sister in christ has seen and her experience. On February 1st, 2024, at 8.37, I had a dream in which I recorded the second half of the dream, but I am now recording the first half because I wrote it out in my journal. And the dream goes as follows. I was at my family house in Fort Lauderdale, Florida. And when I was in the house, it was a lab inside and I heard this commotion. And these individuals came out and they were in hazmat suits. The ones you were, the ones you wear with the oxygen hooked up to it. They were running out because the experiment became alive and demonic and they were trying to shoot them. And when they were rushing out, you seen and felt the fear on them and coming. And I seen this military weapon. And as they came running out, these demonic zombie looking entities were right on them. And I literally multiple times in the head and I noticed the weapon was automatic, but I had to. Then I went out the door into a whole different environment in which the firmament was open and exposed to the heaven and the pinkish bluish colors. I can't even describe the background but it felt extremely spiritual that you knew it was another realm and I'm looking from I'm looking from the front yard of my family house and in the direction of this in the direction was where the opening was ascending from and everything was coming out of it. The stars look like these auroral circles of colors and they were coming in a multi in a multitude and a cluster. And I was on the one side of the street walking west and these being these beings was headed to the east and it was me and my sister and two other girls walking in this direction and the first set of beings descended were in a group of four like a box with no lines just at the four corners and as they came these colors were changing and emerging from the circles and as these four passed us they were headed in the east direction where a mass evil demonic army approaching i was watching and walking at the same time and as the as they approached i moved my sister to the other side and i got on the side they would pass and as they passed 
this noise came from them like a frequency horse like noise. And I remember saying, I rebuke you. Go back to where you came from. I recorded the rest of the dream on my phone. So that's why I'm now recording the first part of it. And I just woke up from a dream where it was just crazy because I know the world had ended and everything that you never thought that you would see, you began to see. I remember when I walked outside, it was like a group of like four of us and it was on my old family street in Fort Lauderdale, Florida. And it was these lights that would travel in clusters and they would be different colors. But you knew that those was like entities. And in the distance down the road, to the east way was uh, like a herd of zombies coming and we hurried up and it was it's like once we got past this park that used to sit on our street it was a house that sat on the corner it's like we ended up going to this house and it's like we was gonna try and ride it out and I remember an aunt of mine being at this house and some other people. But what I did get the understanding of people who already had, or if they didn't automatically turn, they were going to turn. And it made them go like mad first. Like they began to get real hostile. And eventually they just, you know, followed suit. And all I know is, it's like we blacked out the house, locked it down and everything like that. And knew that they were coming. And it's like, I began to see this all over everywhere. And it's as if I remember saying like, this is why you gotta at least have like, food stored up for when everything first happened and so you don't have to go nowhere you don't even have to leave your house won't even won't even be like a reflection of a door being open or whatever because it's like even though they were in the distance it's like and mom i've had the feeling that they could see like you coming in and out or however, even from way down there. Um, it's like I had seen a vision of me. I was so thankful that I had pouring oil all around the perimeter of the house. I just, I knew this was going on everywhere. Everybody was trying to do the same thing. I don't know if this was the people that were left behind and it had to be because it felt like, you know, only people was left was the people who was running and, you know, hiding and the zombies. And I, I remember there being this guy and he started going crazy and he was banging on the window. He kept saying something. I forgot what he was saying, but he got like been on a woman like, huh? Like he was going mad, like he was going in like crazy. And I don't know how he stopped doing whatever he did, but I remember we boarded up the house. It's like we all got quiet because we knew that they were coming. But it's like me and myself, it's like I made myself wake up because I didn't even want to see them coming. And it's like when I woke up, I remember saying, in my mind, I remember saying, Lord, you showed me this before. 
And I woke up. I am scared. I'm going to tell you why. The sense in that dream was like it's on your heels. Like it's now. Like I felt like even when I woke up from that dream, like it could have been taking place. Like I could have brought that from up out of my dream. You know, that's how serious and real it felt. I just, hmm. oh man, I just. Thank you so much, Sister Faith, for sharing both part one and part two of your end time experience. I truly believe this to be a tribulation dream that you received because a lot of the details that you shared I could sense and feel the hopelessness and I could see from the graphics that you were sharing here, a lot of the horrific things that are soon going to happen during the tribulation period when all of the wrath is coming to this earth and a lot of chaos and destruction is happening. And you shared a lot of the details, which were really hard to watch. But they are warnings, brothers and sisters. These are warnings of what is to come. And I truly pray that many of these experiences will wake up the masses to see what things like this will look like. And although it is terrifying for us to watch and witness, they are the warnings that many of our brothers and sisters in Christ have felt led to share. And I know she was sharing about, you know, people running and hiding and there were these zombie-like creatures. And I do believe a lot of these are also going to be, you know, many of the people that are left behind that will have taken the mark and that will have to suffer a lot of with what the locusts will be giving them with the stinging uh, for the five months. And then, of course, with the sun scorching people. I mean, it is going to be such a horrific time. But from my interpretation and how I feel that this is going to be a future event and that will be the tribulation period. But thank you so much, sister, for sharing everything that you had went in detail with, especially with the firmament being opened, um, the demons and all of that, because I truly see a lot of that happening because a lot of things are going to happen at that time, unlike what many people have seen on this earth before. Our Sister in Christ YouTube channel information will be in the description box, so please head over there and subscribe. I also want to thank all of you, brothers and sisters, for taking the time to watch this video today. Please type in the comments box, Jesus is King. Please type Jesus is King because He is our King, our Savior. He is our Abba, and that is Jesus Christ. So until next time, channel family, may God bless you all and have a very blessed week.